Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn and we're going on a fishing road trip to the Gulf Coast of Florida. Well folks, loaded up heading south. I uh, got the boat in tow. I uh, got all my fishing rods, all my gear, swapped everything over from the catfish stuff to the salt water. Hopefully got everything, got the tackle. Uh, my big thing is now I don't have any bait, so it's gonna be the first thing I'm gonna try to figure out when I get down here. The long drive down. Little nervous about it. I've done some, you know, four or five hour pulls before heading to the beach, Tennessee, that kind of thing. But when you're looking at uh, nine and a half hours, I just, uh, it's a lot of room for something to go wrong. Hopefully, uh, good Lord willing, I have a good safe pull down there. And uh, we'll get down there and Get some good weather. It's raining. Uh, it's going to rain for a couple of days. We're going to have some wind. Uh, the uh, storm that is coming in, it's going to leave some wind behind. So it's looking like Tuesday, Wednesday may be kind of snotty, but Thursday through Saturday is uh, looking good with some really calm seas. So uh, three good days, it looks like, of fishing. Uh, and a couple others to get out there maybe play around in the bay and see what's going on. Uh, it's an adventure for me. Uh, this is like my big trip this year. I and mean, I've been saying for 20 years, man, I'd love to pull my boat down here. And I'm finally doing it. So I've got a full week down here committed to it. And uh, it'll be fun. It's going to be an adventure. I hope we catch some fish. It's going to be fun anyway it goes. All right, folks, the wife sent me out to Walmart to grab some stuff for lunch. Uh, it's always a bad idea because whenever I'm in town, someplace out of town, I always like to hit the Walmart. <music> call it the poor man's bait shop. They've always got stuff that's uh, regionally appropriate to where you're fishing. And uh, whenever you're in a saltwater area, they've always got some saltwater stuff and I like to take a little look around. And I also like to throw some bait in the buggy. Uh, it's not always the best bait, definitely not the freshest, but I hate going out on the water, relying on a cast net to catch bait. So I like having a little bit of frozen stuff and no better place to get something to get the ball rolling than here at Walmart. <laughs> After a good night's rest, it was time to hook the boat up and head to the water. There's no easy button out here. I'm just kind of riding around right now looking at some reef stuff, trying to figure out where some structure is. A uh, little frustrating, but that's fishing, especially when you get in a place where it's not your home territory. That's what I'm up against right there, dodging these storm sails that are out here. Uh, ducked in out of that one, came back out, and got this one over here developing. There's another one south of me, keeping an eye on it. Making for tough fishing. All right, decided to make a run back here into the truck. Uh, there was a storm I seen coming on radar and uh, coming up the base. I decided to be smart, come here and duck out of it. It's pouring down, uh, not much lightning with it, but 
I uh, just wanted to be safe. I uh, still got some more exploring to do. Caught a few fish, nothing great. Uh, trying to find me some bait. Something a little bit bigger. Just seeing what's in here. It's kind of choppy and rough out there. Uh, and I'm not going to make it all shore today. So uh, mess around here in the bay, see what happens. See if I can put a few more fish in the boat and find something big enough for the sharks. Hopefully I can find some stingrays. That's what I would really like to get into. Well, after a short sit in the truck, things cleared and I headed back out. There's what I'm up against, trying to thread the needle in between these two. Got that one over there. And then I got this on this side of the boat. Hoping I can just tread water here in the middle of these things until they pass. It looks kind of good on the back side of it. But we'll see, this is kind of blowing up behind this one. This ain't no fun. I know you regular saltwater guys are used to this stuff, but it's kind of a pain in the butt. But it's summertime, it's Florida. It's kind of hard to avoid it. All right, guys, got my chest to go on. I'm not sure what's wrong with my other camera. Had a bait out here underneath a uh, bobber. I think it's just a piece of mullet I had on there. Bobber went down. Just check off. Not sure what it is. I have no idea. Oh, another catfish. Lovely. A big one. But a cat. Got him. They're pretty. But they're a nuisance. Well, folks, I may like to catch catfish at home, but when you start catching them in salt water, it's time to head home.